Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I've done two separate videos on my Mossberg Patriot. You guys know I love this gun. It's a very light gun and it's a pretty accurate gun for what it is and um, out to about 150 yards and it's pretty much dead on. Now, <clears throat> I did mention it. Um, my second video, I believe I mentioned it um, or I should have that this Mossberg Patriot actually um, whenever I was shooting 5.56 ammo sometimes it wouldn't um, the, the round wouldn't go off I was thinking that there was just a couple duds uh, or anything like that but it happened to it happened quite a bit um, you know roughly probably about two or three rounds in ten shots um, towards the end um, well towards the the time that I did re reviews those almost 50 50 shot that a, a 5.56 round wouldn't go off um, now, 223s, I never had a problem. They have a little bit softer primer, where the 5.56 does have a little bit of a harder primer. Now, I was perfectly okay with this. Personally, even in my AR, I shoot a lot of 223 instead of 5.56. Um, you know, I can get 223 actually cheaper than 5.56 locally. Um, now, it's a different story if I order it, um, but locally, I can get 223 um, cheaper. So, it wasn't a big deal to me. Well, I just actually, there was a gentleman that actually commented on my second video saying that his MVP had the same issue and he was currently sending it back um, for the primer, um, or sorry, for the firing pin, for it not being, or the firing pin spring, not being strong enough to um, ignite the 5.56 primers. Um, and I'll put his name somewhere up here. Um, and I just want to say thanks. Um, due to your comment, I actually uh, got in touch with Mossberg and they informed me that this was a problem that they were having with the Mossberg um, MVP Patrol, really the MVP series, um, for the first, you know, the first about year and a half, I think it was maybe about the first year, don't quote me on that, um, first year of guns that they had, they had the problem, and I did buy this almost as soon as it came out, so that makes sense. Um, so anyways, I just got it back. Um, I literally sent it out two weeks ago and I, and I got it back and you know I you know very phenomenally. Um, now I only mentioned the firing pin spring to him and that was my problem. Um, and I you know I was expecting that to be fixed. Well, back whenever I first got the gun, um, this actual magazine retaining um, is all plastic. what holds the magazine in? And mine actually chipped and cracked. Now I glued it up and, you know, I filed down the glue and everything so it was smooth, almost like new. Um, and even me, I could barely tell there was a crack there um, after I did that. Well, this was completely all replaced. Um, and they even sent me a new 10-round um, PMAG, which was awesome. Um, I love PMAGs, and that's what I use. So that's great. So not only was it a timely manner, um, they really did a good job. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do about 10 shots right here. I have a awesome backstop. I have like a two-stage backstop. This is just in our backyard. Um, and I'm going to shoot at the top part of that backstop so that the round is traveling a little bit farther before it hits anything. Um, now, if this is completely fixed, I guarantee you that all 10 of these shots are going to go off. I'm not too worried about having a bigger sample size because like I said towards the end of the time that I had the gun before I sent it back it was almost a 50-50 shot whether the round would go off or not. So we'll find out here. Actually, uh, hmm. still had one dud. Let me put it back in there. See, beforehand, even no matter how many times I put it in, 
gun, it wouldn't fire. So if this fires the second time, I'm going to say it's successful. Like I said, to me personally, this isn't such a big deal. I don't shoot a lot of 5.56, and whenever I load 5.56 or that kind of cartridge, I load the 223 round and I use the 223 primers. That didn't load that time. Alright guys, so overall not a 10 out of 10, um, you know, more like a 9.5. I uh, did shoot that um, last round the second time. Now one thing, if you guys are having this problem and you don't want to deal with Mossberg, um, which I don't know why you wouldn't, um, they're a great company to deal with and their customer service is fantastic. But um, I've noticed beforehand, if you really shove that bolt forward, more often than not, that round is going to go off not sure exactly why um but you know if you or if you're easy on that bolt sometimes those 5.56s won't want to go off in this gun now one thing i'm really happy about is that it went through all of those rounds without a hiccup to the last one um and to be completely honest with you i'm all right with that um you know it's not not perfect um but it's definitely better way better than it was um but again like i said uh I personally don't use a lot of 5.56. I know a lot of people do. Um, and I was using um, Lake City, Federal Lake City 5.56. They're green tips. Um, I believe is the M193. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are going to be using that. Um, I might contact Mossberg about this, but um, to me personally, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, and if you're not having this problem to begin with, then you might have actually got one of their guns that after they start fixing the firing sp pin spring. Um, so, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got a little bit of information out of it. Um, you know, like I said, Mossberg's uh, quality of service um, is phenomenal. Um, I've never had to go to them before this, and you know, they were very quick in the responding of their email. Um, because I emailed them, I'm sure calling them might have been a little bit quicker, but I mean, I have nothing to complain about with the email. And they uh, followed up every single one of my emails with uh, answers to my questions. And um, they were really quick with uh, deciding whether or not it was their fault or not. Um, <clears throat> you know, so really, really good uh, experience I had with them. Um, normally, gun, all gun companies, or at least the majority of them, are pretty easy to deal with. But Mossberg was absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. You have a good day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video and uh, subscribe, please. Thank you.